Is it time to buy or sell QQQ ETF? In this video, we're diving deep into QQQ. Our initial report was published on our website on Friday, September 15, 2023, and now we're here to provide you with an even more detailed analysis. Remember to subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on the notification bell to stay updated on our latest analysis. You don't want to miss any crucial updates that could impact your investments. Enhance your trading decisions by trying our newly launched AI stock analysis tool powered by GPT-4 at stockinvest.us. Tap into the power of AI and get a free price predictions and deep analysis for anyone among 25,000 companies worldwide today. Please note that this video is for informational purposes only and should not be considered as financial advice. Since August 29, 2023, our system has ranked QQQ as a hold slash accumulate, giving it a score of minus 0.95. Let's take a look at the stock's performance during this period. The stock has had natural fluctuations, but currently sits at a loss of minus 1.06% since our initial hold slash accumulate recommendation. This translates to an average loss of minus 0.08% per day since it was listed as hold slash accumulate. The ETF is moving within a horizontal trend and further movements within this trend can be expected. The current three-month trend suggests a potential 0.99% change over the next three months, with a possible return between minus 2.14% and 5.76%. As for the 12-month trend, it suggests a 44.87% change over the next 12 months, with a potential return between 36.46% and 58.97%. This translates to a price range of $506.02 to $589.49 after a year. Our latest daily update for QQQ includes the headline, Weaker Technical Forecast for QQQ as ETF Downgraded to Hold Slash Accumulate. The QQQ ETF price fell by minus 1.71% on the last day, Friday, September 15, 2023, from $377.27 to $370.81. During the last trading day the ETF fluctuated 1.75% from a day low at $369.86 to a day high of $376.32. The price has been going up and down for this period, and there has been a minus 1.9% loss for the last two weeks. Volume has increased on the last day by 22 million shares but on falling prices. This may be an early warning and the risk will be increased slightly over the next couple of days. In total, 66 million shares were bought and sold for approximately $24.44 billion. Over the past 52 weeks, the highest price of ETF was $387.98, and the lowest price was $254.26. Currently, the price is 4.43%, or $17.17, .17, below the 52-week high, and 9.27%, or $37.90, below the all-time high on November 22, 2021, when the price reached $408.71. The following signals have been identified for QQQ. Furthermore, there is a buy signal from the three-month moving average convergence divergence, MACD. Some negative signals were issued as well, and these may have some influence on the near short term development. The QQQ ETF holds sell signals from both short and long term moving averages, giving a more negative forecast for the stock. On corrections up, there will be some resistance from the lines at $373.81 and $371.46. A breakup above any of these levels will issue by signals. A sell signal was issued from a pivot top point on Tuesday, September 5, 2023 and so far it has fallen minus 1.92%. Further fall is indicated until a new bottom pivot has been found. Volume rose on falling prices yesterday. This may be an early warning and the ETF should be followed more closely. Here are some other signals you might find interesting. Moving average convergence divergence, by signal. Pivots, sell signal 9 days ago. Bollinger, by signal 20 days ago. Short-term moving average, by signal 3 days ago. Long-term moving average, sell signal 2 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages. By signal 10 days ago. If we look at the 12-month chart we see. Short moving average, by signal 14 days ago. 
the long-term moving average, by signal 166 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages. By signal 159 days ago. Remember to go to our page at stockinvest.us if you want to find more signals. Support, risk, and stop loss for QQQ. QQQ finds support from accumulated volume at $367.93 and this level may hold a buying opportunity as an upwards reaction can be expected when the support is being tested. In general the ETF tends to have very controlled movements and with good liquidity the risk is considered very low in this stock. During the last day, the ETF moved $6.46 between high and low, or 1.75%. For the last week the ETF has had daily average volatility of 1.24%. Before we dive into the possible good trading levels for QQQ, let's quickly cover some essential fundamental data. First, the price to earnings ratio, or PE ratio. This crucial ratio measures a company's current share price relative to its per share earnings. A relatively low P-E ratio could signal a low expectation for the future of the company or that the stock is undervalued, indicating a potential buying opportunity. Now let's discuss some potential day trading levels for QQQ. In case of an upward trend, the first resistance level for QQQ is at $374.39. If you don't own any shares, you may want to wait for this level to be breached before entering a position. For those already holding the stock, this could be a level to consider for swing trading. On the downside, QQQ encounters its first support level at $367.93. If this support level holds, it could be a good entry point, anticipating a rebound. Our recommended stop loss is set at $358.57, minus 3.30%. This ETF has low daily movements and this gives low risk. There is a sell signal from a pivot top found 8 days ago. Is QQQ ETF a good buy? QQQ holds several negative signals and this should be a sell candidate, but due to the general chance for a turnaround situation it should be considered as a hold candidate, hold or accumulate, in this position whilst awaiting further development. Due to some small weaknesses in the technical picture we have downgraded our analysis conclusion for this ETF since the last evaluation from a buy to a hold slash accumulate candidate. After analyzing the volatility and movements for the last trading day, our systems find that the current price is undervalued. For trading on Monday, September 18th, we expect QQQ to open up $1.52 and start trading at $372.33. We remind you that trading involves a high risk of losing money, and that you should speak with a financial advisor before buying or selling any securities. You should not base your investment decision upon stockinvest.us. By using the information, you agree and are held liable for your own investment decisions. This is our current view of the stock. Do you agree or disagree? Comment below and share your thoughts. What is your target for the ETF? Remember to like and subscribe. We wish you successful trading and have a beautiful day with regards from all of us here at Stock Invest.